Welcome to Quick Tape Movie Review. Here's a quick review of In the Land of Saints and Sinners, starring Liam Neeson, Carrie Condon and directed by Robert Lorenz. Watch this review until the end to find out if this movie would appeal to you. Set in 1970s Ireland, In the Land of Saints and Sinners follows a man with a dark past who leads a quiet life in a remote coastal town, far from the political violence that grips the rest of the country. His peace is shattered when a menacing crew of terrorists arrives, drawing him into a vicious game of cat and mouse. Forced to choose between exposing his secret identity or defending his townsmen, he must confront his past and protect his community. In the Land of Saints and Sinners stands out as one of the best Liam Neeson films in recent years, offering a gripping and nuanced thriller that goes beyond the typical action fare associated with the actor. Unlike his more action-driven roles, this movie delves into the complexities of its characters and the political turmoil of 1970s Ireland, resulting in a tense, character-driven narrative. At its core, the film is a thriller with strong political undertones, focusing more on character development and moral dilemmas than on explosive action sequences. The story takes its time to establish the setting and introduce the various characters, all of whom are well-written and integral to the plot. This careful setup pays off as the movie progresses, with the tension gradually building to a satisfying crescendo. Liam Neeson delivers a powerful performance as the lead, bringing a sense of gravitas and depth to his character, a man haunted by his past but determined to protect his present. Neeson's portrayal is both restrained and intense, making his character's internal struggle palpable. Carrie Condon is a surprising standout in the role of the antagonist, delivering a performance that is both chilling and compelling. Her character adds a layer of unpredictability to the film, making the cat and mouse game all the more thrilling. Director Robert Lorenz skillfully ratchets up the tension as the film progresses, weaving together the various storylines into a cohesive and gripping narrative. The screenplay is tight, with each scene serving to heighten the suspense or deepen the character's motivations. The cinematography beautifully captures the rugged Irish coastline, enhancing the film's moody atmosphere, while the background score subtly underscores the tension without overwhelming the story. The action sequences are minimal, but this restraint works in the film's favor. When the action does occur, it's impactful and well executed, serving the story rather than overshadowing it. The focus remains on the characters and their choices, making the stakes feel more personal and the outcome more meaningful. Overall, In the Land of Saints and Sinners is a standout thriller that will appeal to audiences looking for more than just mindless action. It's a film that combines strong performances, a well-crafted narrative, and a tense atmosphere to create a compelling story that lingers long after the credits roll. For fans of Liam Neeson and anyone who enjoys a well-made thriller, this movie is definitely worth watching. In the Land of Saints and Sinners will likely appeal to you if you enjoyed the movies listed, as they share similar sensibilities. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more quick take reviews and recommendations. Peace to all.